Part 2, Don't Be Deceived. Watch the previous video first for full understanding. If you haven't seen the previous video yet, I highly recommend doing so before proceeding with the thrilling second part of Don't Be Deceived. It will provide context for a complete viewing experience. Now, let's dive right in. Excuse me, young man. I request that you move away from that door immediately and find a seat. It is important that we keep these corridors and walkways clear to facilitate the smooth transportation of patients and individuals in need of assistance. I'm truly <gasps> sorry, sir, for any trouble caused. A close friend of mine is soon going to become a father, and he and his wife are going for an ultrasound to check on their baby's health. They consider me like an uncle to their child. I'm sincerely worried for them because his wife is facing a risky pregnancy. Please accept my apologies. I completely understand, my friend. I'm genuinely thrilled for you, your friend, and his wife. It brings back memories of when my own family experienced immense joy as my lovely wife gave birth to twins. Moments like these hold great significance to me, as I tend to take even the smallest things very seriously. Allow me to share an intriguing incident that occurred years ago at a hospital. A man came for a pregnancy test, but things quickly took a dramatic turn when his boss unexpectedly recognized him and the situation escalated. To make matters more complicated, it was discovered that the man had been secretly involved with a woman for eight months, who eventually gave birth to their child before he faced legal consequences. Even now, it feels like it happened just yesterday. Take care, my friend and cherish the precious moments that bring happiness to you and your loved ones. Wait. Can I ask you, what was the man's name? Oh. Ah. Uh, let me see here. It's coming back to me. Yes, yes. His name, um. Max, that's right. And the woman he was with, uh. Megan, I believe. Ah, yes. I recall hearing that she's really committed to supporting other women who have faced terrible things and is quite a forceful woman for bringing about transformation. You know, I must say, I'm truly relieved that Max is behind bars for what he put Megan through. But, uh, sorry for me asking, why do you bring this up? I just now have another key piece of the puzzle to finding out who my father is. Thanks doctor. Chris spent his evening researching local prisons and jails in order to discover the identity of his father. He scours through various records and websites until he finally uncovers the information he was seeking. Now, Chris realizes that he is close to solving the puzzle of his true identity. Oh my goodness. This person is my dad. It's incredible how many similarities we have. I'm absolutely stunned. I need to find a way to reach out to him or uncover more information about him. My mom deserves justice, and simply knowing his name and appearance is not enough. This is just another piece to solving the puzzle of my true identity. The very next day. Hey Chris. Welcome to Rhone City Prison. What brings you here? I've got to serve lunch soon so be clear. Um, Officer P, sorry for bothering you. I didn't sleep well last night, and I didn't have time to shower. I just found out that my father is a prisoner here, and I wanted to know if I can see or talk to him. I don't really know how he behaves or what he's like, which is why I came to you. Oh, I almost forgot, his name is Maxwell Jano. I just need to figure out who I really am. Absolutely. It's important for me to inform you that he's quite an unusual individual. While he hasn't displayed any aggression, it's still smart to exercise caution. Please stick close to me and disregard anything that seems unusual as we approach him. You have a visitor, Max. I appreciate the update. Officer Pete's got me wondering who could it be. The last individual I had a visit from, apart from myself, was my make-believe buddy Harry. No problem, Max. Now let me unlock the cell and come my way. Chris and Max meet. So you're my son? What is your name? My name is Chris. I'm Chris Cito. Chris Cito? Huh. Why the heck don't you have my last name? I'm your father, dang it. I deserve to see my own flesh and blood carry on my family name. What's the deal with this nonsense? I don't believe I'm entitled to your last name, and I want to be straightforward with you. A few years after I was born, my mother married a man named Alan Cito. He became my stepfather. Together, they had a son and a daughter who are my half-siblings. My mother continues to face the consequences of your actions, 
particularly the choices you made many years ago. I am the outcome of those circumstances, and I'm actually relieved and appreciative that I don't bear your last name. Hold on a dang minute. Your mom, she was the love of my life, and me and her, we had something special going on. You're nothing but a liar. Before I leave, rest assured that I will expose your deceit to everyone attending my mom's event tonight. Consider yourself warned. Goodbye! Later that day. So Chris, how did it go with him? Mom, you know what? It was really weird meeting him. He just jumps to conclusions so fast, and he looked really rough, like he's been through some stuff. And get this, I found a picture of him from back when he first got locked up, and boy, has he changed. He's just a weird guy, you know? And it's kinda embarrassing to see any resemblance to him. But hey, at least he's where he belongs for what he did to you. We're totally gonna rock this event, and spread the word about your story. You're such a brave woman, mom, and I love you no matter what. It's messed up, but I guess I wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for what he did. No matter what. I love you! At the event. Thank you all for being here today to support my mom's event. We genuinely appreciate your presence. Now, as many of you are aware, my 21st birthday is approaching this week, but let's set that aside for now. Today, I had an unsettling experience of meeting a man who had a significant impact on my mom's life, against her will and that of my father. I must admit, it was an odd encounter. He had a rough appearance, as if he had lived in a tunnel. I stumbled upon a photograph of him from when he was first incarcerated, and the transformation is quite crazy. It's quite embarrassing for me to see any resemblance to him. Justice has been served, and he is exactly where he belongs for the harm he inflicted upon my mom. I'll now allow my mom to take the stage and conclude this event for tonight. I want to express my genuine gratitude to all of you for being here today to support my event. I face the consequences of Max's actions, and Chris is the result of that. People always ask my why I had Chris. I don't want to say why but he is truly an amazing son. As many of you are aware, I am happily married to Alan and we have two wonderful kids who are Chris half-siblings. I want to emphasize, especially to the women here, that you should never let yourself be deceived. Don't be swayed by appearances. I was misled and now I carry the emotional scars of being deceived by a man I thought was kind and attractive. Always be on the lookout for warning signs and positive qualities in a person. Value your self-worth and seek out the right person for you. Thank you all for joining us today, and please know that I cherish each and every one of you. And that is the end. Yo, can you believe it? You've reached the end of part two. I just wanted to take a moment to sincerely thank each and every one of you. Your support means the world to me, and I'm incredibly grateful that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now, I want to hear your thoughts on part two. Drop your feedback in the comments below because I genuinely want to know what you think. Your engagement fuels my passion for making videos that I truly love. It was an absolute blast putting it together, and it's all thanks to all of you. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for all the action. Once again, a heartfelt thank you for watching and supporting me on this incredible journey. You guys are absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to catch you in the next one.